M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. In the past, we've been using Nickshaw firmware to modify our TRD Radio H3 and H8. But there is all, there are also modifications happening for the iRadio UV98 stroke Radtel 880. So I thought I'd just bring you to that page and you could, uh, you know, consider whether you'd be interested. Now, I am just providing information and links. So if you have a look here, We've got a video that you can view of the 11 meter test on the RT880. Okay, just here. And scrolling down, we've got comments there from uh, the Nick, uh, from, is I believe, is it Marcus, the first name? I always get confused. Um, but comments there from uh, many people. And it says here, RT880 progress from the horse's mouth, RT880, technical documents. RT880 releases, firmwares for the Radtel, and I've clicked here on the left. Uh, I'm just looking down. Now, it is a Patreon page, and so you are invited to, to join the Patreon page and contribute to the, to the hard work. So I did just now click here, Firmware Flasher, and I, it did go to my downloads. I'll just click that now just to show you that I did, and I have not used it before. So you've got a bin file here and the usual firmware flasher, let's just double click it. More, run anyway. And there you are, there's the firmware flasher. And I'm sure that they will let you know if the original flasher would, would work. But here it is here, and it does say UV98 image file. Um, so if I browse it now, Go to downloads and there you are, modified bins. But I'm not going to do this now because I just literally want to introduce everyone to this. Um, uh, because I've had many people message me saying, where do we now go for the for the Nick Shaw firmware that we were using on our on our radios? And um, there's also I think a way if you have a problem with your radio, there are some tools here that you might be able to use. Uh, so it says here. RT880 SPI flash backup. There's a whole video on that. Of course, check out the video and I'll put the link of that video in the description. You've got here, move this over. Uh, firmware flasher, we just did that. Scan test, new exploratory firmware. So it is early days with the with these radios. Uh, I've got the iRadio and the Radto 880 here. So once I get my head round it, then I'll start um, trying this out, see what other links we're finding. And I see here that this firmware is for the H3, okay? And there you are, all the information. Here's one called 880, the first steps, okay? Lots of information there. If you click upgrade here, custom firmware and mods for ham radios, click upgrade, you are invited to choose a membership and that's going to give you better and full access uh, to the firmware. Remember that this is going to cover not just the TRD Radio H3, H8, but also the 880 and any future uh, development. So yeah, consider that. And as Nick says here, I'm excited to share my diagnostic firmware designed to help probe and identify the functions of various GPIO pins. So you can imagine there's a lot of work going on here. And there are, I can see some bins here. So we're seeing attachments, uh, firmware 880 version 4 bin. And that's gone there. Um, and scrolling down. Yeah, people saying they're going to play with it tonight <laughs> and uh, an experiment. So it's a bit late in the night for me. I, I do want to play with this. And uh, so please um, check it all out. I'll put the links all in the description. Big thanks to, I'm pretty sure it's Marcus at, at Nick. Now back to the home page here. Thank you very much. 7-3, all the best.